Panhandle Health says these call center volunteers have kind of been on the front lines in a sense. They've been taking dozens and dozens of calls from people with a wide range of emotions, and they've been providing critical information regarding coronavirus. There are customer service call center folks, and then there are the volunteers manning the lines at Panhandle Health. So if there's a case spike, we'll see a spike in calls. This is video from March when Panhandle Health activated the call center in the wake of the coronavirus outbreak. The volunteers are run through a group called the Medical Reserve Corps, and it's the first time they've been put into use in Kootenai County since the swine flu scare. We would not be able to handle the capacity of calls that we've been receiving without these volunteers. The volunteers are answering calls from people with questions about coronavirus. They also ask questions to help determine if the person on the other line might need to get tested for coronavirus. Those callers are then sent on to an epidemiologist. The questions aren't just about health. And now we're kind of tapered into what is the governor doing? Am I an essential business? When can I reopen? Another common question, are face masks mandatory in public? The answer, no, they're not required, just encouraged. The call center is now on its 10th week in operation. Panhandle Health says at one point the center was receiving about 1,600 calls a week. That's been winding down and the center now has five volunteers compared to 15 call takers at one point. They've taken calls ranging from those curious to those cantankerous. They are the, they are the front line for the frustrated people in our community, but I will say the, the volunteers in there handle those calls so well. But some callers have also reached out to offer up food to the group as a way of saying thanks. Panhandle Health says they sure appreciate the group. They take the burden off of other staff who have been putting in long hours during the pandemic. I can't thank them enough. Panhandle Health expects the call center to remain open at least through the duration of Governor Little's stay healthy order. In Kootenai County, Taylor Vido, Cram 2 News.